Welcome back to another Dividend ETF review video. Today, today we're looking at iShares by BlackRock DVY, the iShares Select Dividend ETF. Today is April 3rd, 2024. Let's jump right in. The overview. The iShares Select Dividend ETF seeks to track the investment results of an index composed of relatively high dividend paying U.S. equities. Why Divi? Exposure to broad cap U.S. companies with a consistent history of dividends. Access to 100 U.S. stocks with a five year record of paying dividends. That's all it takes in this one. Used to seek income, this fund does not seek to follow a sustainable impact or ESG investment strategy. Some key facts, this fund has been in operation around since November 3rd of 2003. Currently has $18.1 billion under management. Morningstar has this in a mid to large blend. It's a three star overall fund. It has 105 underlying holdings and 99.54% of that is equity based. It does not get any income from options or call writing or anything like that. It, does, it is not an actively managed fund. It's not a leveraged or an ETF, inverse ETF. <clears throat> Some key statistics. This has a low expense ratio of 0.38% has a low PDE ratio of 13.23%. It distributes dividends on a quarterly basis and its last quarterly dividend payout was 99 cents per share. It has a current share price of $120.36 with a 15% portfolio turnover rate. The trailing 12 month distribution is 3.84% with a 30 day distribution yield of 4%. It does have a negative year to date total return in 2024 of negative 0.65%. It is a slightly positive one-year total return of 1.16% with a lifetime total return of 8.06%. The management team has 30 years experience between them. There are three in total and it's uh, under the BlackRock Fund Advisors arm. The top 10 holdings along with the index that attracts the S&P 500 select dividend benchmark only requires five years of dividend payments. Number one, Altria Group 2.96%. Number two, AT&T 1.85%. Number three, Verizon Communications 1.83%, followed by Pfizer 1.73%, Philip Morris 1.68%, Truist Financial Corp 1.65%, Key Corp 1.64%, Dominion Energy Inc. at 1.63%, Citizens Financial Group Inc. at 1.63 and 1OK Inc. lastly at 1.62%. The breakdown in the, the sectors looks like this. Number one, equities 25.77%. Number two, financials 24.87%. Number three, consumer staples at 8.68%. Followed by materials at 8.63%. Consumer discretionary at 7.44%. Next, energy at 6.36%, communication service at 6.02%, information technology at 5.57%, industrials at 3.64%, and last on the list, healthcare at 2.98%. The geographic footprint of this ETF, Divi, has United States at 96.60%, Singapore at 2.05%, and lastly, Switzerland at 1.35% exposure. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do not take any of this information as financial advice. This information is purely for entertainment and educational value only. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next dividend review video. Hi, I'd like to take a minute to share with you some of our affiliate partners. Charles Schwab. You can sign up through the link below uh, in the description or through this QR code. Uh, they are offering cash deposits when you make a deposit into a Charles Schwab account. We use Charles Schwab here on this platform uh, for the research that we provide. Fidelity has an amazing e-money partner link. Uh, you can combine all of your online accounts and it gives you an awesome experience. It's called uh, Fidelity Full View. Robinhood is an amazing mobile experience. Uh, it's got a fun app, easy to use, uh, very awesome brokerage account. Uh, customer service is great. Thank you guys so much again. We hope we can help you out and see you guys in the next video.